All right, so this is just a quick video to show a simple uh, rig setup for eyes for your character. So if you have a character with oval eyes and you want to be able to rotate it, um, I'm going to show you how to do that. So I'm going to go in and create a sphere. And I'm not going to texture this. I'll just use the edges so you can see the location as it rotates. Um, I'm going to rotate this around just 90 degrees. And I'll just start it centered. And just so it's easy to see, I'll throw a white material on it. And I'll just change the edges to black. All right, so if I scale this and try to rotate it, and you're going to see what happens when I rotate it. It goes all wonky. So we don't want that. We want it to stay uniform when I scale it, so or when I rotate it. So I'm going to use a space warp. So if you go into space warps under modifier based, we're going to set up a stretch. So I'm going to draw this out. I'll just make it a square number, like two by two. You can change the pivot point. Just going to center it to the object and then align this to my sphere, like so. So just the positions aligned. So what I'm going to do now is bind the sphere to the space warp using bind to space warp. So I'm going to click and drag to link them together. So now if I go into my space warp into the modify panel, I can adjust the stretch and the amplify to stretch out this the shape of this eye. So now if I select that sphere and rotate it, it's constrained within the stretch of the modifier. So what I would do with this is if I'm making two eyes, I can just grab these, hold shift to make a copy. And then this would all get linked back to my character's head so to the bone of the rig, the head bone. So the other thing is if I set up a, I'll use a couple dummies here and make look at constraints. So on the front view I'll just line these up real quick. So to have these look at these controllers here, I'm going to select each eyeball, go up to animation, constraints, look at constraint and when you do this at first it flips the eye around so in the modify panel or sorry in the motion panel I'm gonna scroll down and in the options for the look at constraint just click on keep initial offset so I'm gonna do the same thing for the other one so animation constraints look at constraint it's looking at the dummy object and then keep initial offset Okay, so now when I grab these dummy objects and move them around, the eyes follow. So all this that I've set up here would get linked back to the character's head. So that when the character moves, all the stuff moves with it. And just a quick example of how to do that, I'll create a dummy object. And we'll pretend this is the head bone of the character. So I'm going to grab everything except for the dummy object, so I'll hold Alt and deselect it. And I can link all this stuff back to the character's head bone. Or if you have a controller controlling the head bone, you can link it to that as well. So when I rotate this, everything's going to move with it. And I can still use these look at constraints to control the eyes. So that's it. That's just a simple way to set up oval eyes for a character.